everyone, and welcome to uh, a rainy episode of Rant. <laughs> I am here alongside El Capitano. The, I, I, I think you'll be kind of racist calling the Robbie of the Cosmo Sutherland. It's not racist, it's just wildly inaccurate and very offensive. I know, it's very, very offensive, yeah. So if I do that, but yeah. Robbie. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, because it yeah, but yeah, but clearly, um, you know, so yeah, but I've got, I've got to say one thing, now we've lost our ICC title, leave you out, watch out, <laughs> bring back Tim Sherwood, stay <laughs> <laughs> back. <laughs> the weird thing was, hi everybody by the way, uh, the weird thing was about that whole, about that whole uh, thing, I know they, they think it's three games in a, in a friendly, I think it's really just, it's only a friendly tournament, but uh, you know, I was, uh, me being me, the most highly competitive guy ever to walk this earth, I was uh, kind of upset about uh, that late goal that uh, BS, um, that match line scored to, uh, to BS in the ICC. But, uh, you know, I was all kind of taken aback myself at um, some of the anger I've seen. Not necessarily in our group, but um, just a lot of time I've seen a, 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 you know, a, 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 on other Spurs groups. It's kind of like, you know, even I'm the most competitive guy, and I'm thinking, it's just a friendly, calm down. But, uh, you know, I guess, I guess people, uh, I guess people, yeah, are going to have to direct that anger somewhere, don't they? So, uh, you know, well, it wasn't I mean, too bad a game, really. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I only saw bits of it, um, yeah. Mm. And uh, I saw, like, Mr. Parrot is, um, he's quite mm. slick. I mean, that part, yep. I mean, if Delia, uh, I don't know if Delia had made a better connection with it, like, really put, mm. put, 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 put the place through it, yeah. I really think that would have been a goal. I, mean, I think we would have opened up the scoring, but... Yeah, mm. clearly he's got. I mean, he doesn't look as I thought. Come on, you know, he was seventeen years old. Mm. My my memories of the bail that joined us, you know, very skinny mm. and everything else. I'm not saying mm. he's not got growth left in him. He clearly does. But well, he looks beefed up already, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like you know he does. I don't know what I should say because he's again it's kind of bent to the late comparison, but he does mm. remind me a little bit of Robbie Keane. I'm waiting for him to point and shout as well. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, it's true. He, he, he's, he's like a, a leader already, and he's only like well, he's only seventeen, and uh, he's you know, got the, uh, that kind of that kind of uh, leadership in him. Uh, and you know, everyone back is lyrical about his um, his ability, you know, his uh, his touch, his passing, his uh, ability to dribble, his uh, ability to go past players as well, and his ability to shoot. I know we didn't get to see too much of him in the two games that we that um, we've had, but because he's been kind of shackled quite well. But uh, the glimpses that we had where he's held the ball up, he's uh, showed strength the ball brought, brought in midfielders you know, in, into play you know it all goes well all goes well for him and uh, yeah he, he shows what he's capable of and you know and that's why I, must have, I wouldn't be surprised if he, play, he starts a few games for the new season for us you know well for me I, I know there's the old adage you're good enough you're old enough but mm. for me I just think he needs a little bit more time he doesn't need the pressure that will be placed on him because I don't know he is well, we said about Dele Alli didn't we well, Deli, Deli Ali though, he was, I think he was 18 when he made his um, Premier League debut and he had already played a bunch of games at, at, at League One, so it's not as if, and even like you'd say how Aaron Lennon, he was only 18 when he started playing for us. But he's well, he for a season or two. Yeah, he played, a, he played in the Premier League, league, I think he was 16 or something, 16 and a half. He was, and he yeah. played in the Championship, so he'd already played what I call competitive football. Mm. Whereas this is, um, I know this is a friendly, I know the U23s, I know we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it a bit. You know, mm. they are still so friendly, there's nothing on the line. People are going to have their ability to you know, their ability to play their moves and stuff like that. That doesn't mm. change. Yeah. Whereas, um, I, do, I do think, you know, if you are... Um, yeah, if you are a young kid, I, I mean, for me personally, I mean, I've, I've actually said that we need to get one more, maybe another striker in. Yeah, mm, to, which we, yeah. I think we will. Yeah, cause I, cause I, I don't, and I think yeah, get a big lump. I think sometimes you need to be able to hit it off. Sometimes mm. it's all well and good playing that very fancy, you know, tiki taka, push and run, or whatever. But mm. sometimes you need a big lump to aim it to, you know, just to hold the ball mm. up. Do you know what I mean? Just get the ball yeah. up there long. Hold the ball up, you know, be a battering man, you know. Mm. 
Yeah. And obviously, I am quoted as saying, I, would, I want Andy Carroll. So I, no, I don't want Andy Carroll. What I said was, that if you want a big lump, and if options are short, and there isn't much time left, why not mm. Andy Carroll, just to look, and yeah, bring him in and say, look, have, yeah, see what you can do. Yeah, because obviously we know that he has he has physicality, whether he mm. or he's being injured. I mean, apparently, I heard him on a, one of his, his former <coughs> Nolan was talking mm. about him and how he actually um, he got injured. Literally, he was just jumping up and he landed awkwardly and he and he, he, he got his knee in. It's just one of those things that you can't. Yeah. You know, so, but like I said, well, I think if you're the best with Andy, well, you're the best with Andy Carroll as well. I mean, yeah, he's a big lump, but he, he's a target man. But he also has the ability on the ball as well, doesn't he? I mean, he has got quick feet, and he can. I mean, a number of his goals when he is fit and he does play, a number of his goals he scored for Liverpool, or well, for Newcastle, but Liverpool especially, you know, overhead, overhead kicks and everything like that. He has got the ability, but um, as you say, you slide him for one game, be, uh, and you play that one game, he'll be out for the next five with a, with a really weird injury that no one's going to explain how he got. Yeah, that's why I think I pay as you play, but I said, that's what I said, like, I'm not a Nando, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, his goals against, I mean, you forget, like, yeah, what he did against, uh, 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 uh in, Against uh, Man City and uh, and Ajax. Oh, I was there. I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forget, just forget, well, forget, forget that. You know, him going mm. up front allowed Kane to get that goal because they had two people to aim at. And yeah. you have two big guys to aim at. It just splits the defenders. And I think, I mean, there's a very good goal that I think, if you remember the Kane goal against, uh, against Arsenal back in 2015, Mm. One of the reasons that Kane is able to get that run on the defender is that Lamella's up there with him. Lamella's at yeah. 6 one 6-2. I'm not saying yeah. Lamella's going to jump up and do like a big, you know, and yeah, Michael Jordan match to fight gravity yeah. or something. But he's going to be there long enough. He just gives you something to think about. Have still will play out front alongside. Mm. an option, but apparently we're looking at pa- 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 Paolo Dybala. So when does Rivaldo and Messi and Gamio sign? <laughs> <laughs> well, this one seems to have got a lot of tra- I'm not quite sure how it's gotten so much. Tra- well, I, I know it's got so much strategy because not people want to believe stuff, but. Uh, like I said in the group, the, the, I can't remember the name of the original website now. It was an Italian website where I first saw this rumor, and I dismissed it out of hand because that website was just literally just full of full of a load of rubbish. It always is, and um, the stories that it does with, with before have never ever come true. So when I saw this, I just dismissed it. But then I saw another website carry on, and I saw somebody post it in the group, and then I saw someone, and then I saw it on Sky, and I'm thinking, wow, just say, you know, I think they call it the butterfly effect, don't they? You know, just um, a butterfly flapping his wings in one area to cause a hurricane in a, in a, in a spread of a field. This is literally what's happening, really. I'll be very surprised if we get the bar through, or even if we're talking to him. So, um, I just think it's but, just one of those things where, I remember years ago, we were linked with Fernando Coto back in the day. Yeah, all these links, and it was like literally, they had to make a press release saying, do you know what, he's a very good player, but we're not interested mm. in him. Yeah, he's just not a player we're looking at. He's a very good player, but he's yeah. not a player we're looking at. But I think, one of the things I think there is, that they may make it a possibility, is first of all, it's a good... He's Argentinian. He's Argentinian, which is one thing. Secondly, it tells Betis, you know what, you're not the only game in town. That we want a number eight, a very skillful player that can move the ball at pace. Mm. You know, we can look at this way. And I think, thirdly, I think, that because there's a, really, there's a really good podcast, I've been listening to the podcast, and mm. essentially what it is, because of the effect of the sovereign wealth nation clubs, a lot of mm-hmm. the traditional clubs have had to increase the amount of money they're offering to their players. Mm. And the thing is, when, that, when, when those transfers work, that's brilliant. You know, they, you know, you, you, either you get great value, you get loads of TV money, or you can sell mm. them for a huge amount, either way. Yeah. But the problem is, is when they don't work, and then you're stuck with mm. an albatross, and then how do you shift them? Now, you've been mm-hmm. very good at basically how they buy and sell players. They're very, very good at it. But mm-hmm. with the money they spend on Delix, on Radio, on Ramsey, mm-hmm. I just think, and the fact that they're not going to shift Higuain, Higuain has had no takers. I mean, Milan didn't want him. Chelsea yeah. decided not to take an option off to buy him. Mm-hmm. I think maybe with Sari, who was his former manager at Napoli, 
they may have a new lease of life, but ultimately yeah. you have you've got a lot of wages there, and you've got to decide can I afford to pay those wages? Mm. And you've got someone like Bernadeschi. I mean, I heard some shit about oh, um, he doesn't want to be in Ronaldo's shadow. Well, that's bullshit because I'm sorry, the guy that wrote that is, is not a bell end. But I think it's <laughs> error. Although you're just saying they've been covered in letters, or if you can't say anything, it's not a bell end. It's not a bell end. It's an error because you don't like being in, in Ronaldo's shadow. I don't know why you don't like being in Payne's shadow either. Mm. So, yeah, exactly. so uh, that, that's just my fit, that's my take on the matter. But and, I, and, I, and for me, you've got to shift. We have loads of foreign players. Who, who goes? When Yarm mm. going, possibly Lamella goes because there's no way we buy Lo Celso and Dybala and not with Lamella because they're all. We, we have three left-footed Argentinians who like to spur tackle in and everything. They're, they're literally identical. The Argentina literally have loads of these kind of players. You know. Started from Maradona onwards. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> they've always had it. And, but, but, they, but for some reason, they've had a glut of these kind of players. And mm. so I just don't see why we're going to. The only way I see this happening is if, like, it's one of those, like, I, I remember when Chelsea signed Eschew and they had to sell, um, was it Thiago Mendes to Juventus or to, to Leon uh-huh. because they couldn't, they, they, they just couldn't afford to see both of them together. They couldn't give them both mm. playing time. And although, yeah. and apparently, uh, was it Mourinho was regret letting go of Mendes? He always tried to bring him back somewhere. Yeah. But I just think he's one of those players. I mean, I I do like the Barla. He's obviously a very talented player. He's clearly more talented than Lamella. But mm. you know, for 80 million pounds, we're playing one foy or Serge Aurier or Carl Walker P. The right back. Mm-hmm. Or we're going to play Ryan Sessegnon. He's only played one year in the Premier League at left back. Mm. Look at Danny Rose. I mean, we have bigger priorities. I'm sorry. I just, that's just, for me, this is well, a biased well. That's the thing. I mean, let's actually carry on giving them that that time. I think um, that's actually what he's going to be going to do. Let's try and blood them um, at left and right back. So I don't think they, I, I honestly don't think he's going to look, look at those positions. I think that they're, they're, they're uh, pro- priority to um, to bring people to, bring people into him. You know, for the time still. I think he literally is going to. Uh, if it is essentially an ordeal does happen, he's literally going to bring him in and play him as as, as, as first choice to try and uh, mimic, you know, the the, the old um, uh, Walker Pete Walker Peters Walker and um, Rose partnership that they had it as a uh, wing back. So you know, the people who fly down the wings and uh, and uh, well, we'll see what they're in the crossing like. So I guess he will play for because Foyth is very technical and he and he can put in a good pass as well as we've seen. He's playing a long ball and uh, put on the pitch screen for um, for anybody. So yeah. I have a feeling he's, he's going to. Um, he's, he's not a fullback. He isn't a fullback. You watch the game in Paraguay. He literally. He's, I don't know what the, I think the Paraguay might. I mean, Argentina as a back line were bloody awful. They really were. And somehow, as bad as they were, they should have actually won the Copa America because that's how bad they were. But they really should have won it. They, they, they just had so many chances. They missed so many of them. But mm. their, defense, their defense is their Achilles heel. Because you knew that. It was open. You go back 50, 50 years, Argentina never had a good defender. So, uh, they had their Ayala, Cincini, but those guys retired, what, about back in like Pochettino's? Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, when I say good defender, I mean good defence. They've always had in the good individuals and people who stand out with good, usually had that captain in the back, a bit like a Passarello in, in 78 and 82, but they never had a good defence. There's always, there's always like one who stand out player and then a whole lot of, I won't disrespect them, but a whole lot of uh, average players. I guess that's kind of all that has, all that has been. So maybe Foyce is going to actually, I guess, well, obviously um, Pochettino sees something in him, and he's obviously still young as well, isn't he? So maybe he'll be molded into a player who can defend uh, much more capability, capably as he can pass or uh, go past players. So, um, I'm not I want my defenders to defend first. I'm just well, everybody to... does. Yeah, everybody does. And I think that's pretty much the way football's kind of moving into now, where you want, where you have your, uh, where your, uh, your wing backs spend most of the time attacking and they do defending. And um, when the wing backs go bomb forward, then uh, the defensive midfielder will, will drop back a little bit to uh, fill in that, that, that gap just in case. So um, it's kind of a uh, weird way it's kind of evolved. I think that's kind of how it's, uh, how we're going to, how we're looking to play. 
I know. I mean, I'm, it, it, it'll be interesting. It will be interesting, but we'll see what happens, really. I just think, for me personally, I personally, if we had £80 million, pounds, I just don't get why we, didn't, we weren't in the bidding for, say, one the sack. I know he costs a lot of money, but he's someone that's English. He, he, uh, he has... Premier League experience. He wouldn't have come to us. Why not? I mean, why, why, why would he use United over us? Because he's an United fan. Really? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he would be. He, he grew up a Manchester United fan. Obviously, he grew up in South London, he would be a Manchester United fan, wouldn't he? So, um, so yeah, he, if it was a choice between us and Manchester United, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have chosen us. Even if it meant staying in London with his family, he wouldn't have chosen us. Okay. It's the same, really, because it will be a sort of player we actually need. But, um, yeah. We couldn't have brought in, like, David Moyes' daughter along and said, look, you know what? That's only for Zaha, isn't it? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly for Zaha, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Allegedly. We are saying this. <laughs> allegedly. This wasn't a real thing. This just happened. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> See, it's gonna be a chicken. It's gonna be in the stands, like some kind of like um. Allegedly, allegedly, like, um, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> but, uh, speaking of which, I just seen a Thierry Trippier on the TV, um, where uh, it's quite quite weird, really, watching. Apparently, Real Madrid and Leicester Madrid played in the ITC last night, and there was quite a uh, quite a game. I, can't I missed that. I'm so annoyed. I'm well, not. actually, you, you probably would be because Leicester Madrid won seven three. No, oh fuck you know I. In Sully, and I can't believe I'm just that as well. <laughs> what? Well, what, 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 what is it like then? three in the morning or something? Something like that. It was, it was played in America, wasn't it? But, I, am yeah, so, oh. I am so going to try and watch this game now when I get home. <laughs> I have a percentage I'll find um, on my channel Free Sports my uh, my channel and um, see if I can uh, see if I can uh, get hold of that because that looks like a very good game Seven. anything to see we're able to get hammered so I love it so basically this is I, do you know what I'm not being bad but I kind of think mm. this was kind of a set up because number one I just think <laughs> no, I know bear with me on this but it's actually no no not, 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 a, not a set up not a set up not a set up allegedly <laughs> allegedly a set up <laughs> this could be allegedly be a way for marketing La Liga. I think FSA are watching this, so yeah, we'll have a look. <laughs> yeah, this could be a way to allegedly, and I say allegedly, mm -hmm. not, you know, not to be proven, this could be a way <laughs> to allegedly get, mm -hmm. um, uh, what should I call it, eyes on, um, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, so let's get this all out of Bluetooth, sorry. Apologies, I've turned the blurs. Yeah, I agree. This is how you know it's all live, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. One second, it's one second. How's that? Is it better? That's better. Yeah, not, not better. Yep. Yeah, so basically, I'm just saying, um, no, allegedly, because obviously I know that they wanted to take do that is it game abroad or something. And they want oh, to bring on a league. Yeah, they want to bring that get illegal, you know, and that was it's a good way to get the excitement going because everyone knows who Real Madrid is, mm. and it would be a good way to um, kind of get that thing going forward. But I don't know; it just seemed it does seem rather risky, personally. <laughs> but yeah. Well, no matter how much they want to try, if they did allegedly try and do that, Real Madrid would not be happy about shipping seven, you know. Oh, could you imagine? I'm, I'm, apparently, Bale's on his way to China as well, so that's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. So yeah. So basically, you didn't need an extra. Because thing is, I actually, because there's a really good podcast transfer transfer in the podcast. One of the reasons mm. he was staying wasn't a because the money he was getting at Real Madrid, half a million a week, mm. but his mm. commercial contracts. He gets a lot of money from being a Real Madrid player, as in commercially. Mm -hmm. And so he would lose money if you know if he actually left Real Madrid, literally, not just from the red, not just from the wages, but also commercially. So, yeah, so that's, so that's one of the. Uh, so, uh, well, yeah, he's a multi millionaire, but he's a multi millionaire now. I mean, like, it's not as if he's going to, you know, at the end of the day, you have to make as much money, like, you know, say, make, make hay while the sun shines. Mm -hmm. he, this is his time to make money while he's physically, athletically in his prime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pardon? We're talking about Gaffel here, aren't we? Yeah, so I just think he's. We, yeah. Uh, we realize, the reason why I said it is because literally on the screen now, um, Top story just come up. Gareth Bell's representative in talk with Jiang Jiang Su Suning in China. Yeah. That's a one one million a one million pound a week deal. 
Yeah. And I bet that you... That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, so he isn't worth that. And, I, you know, the, here's the thing. I questioned his desire because once you have won as much as he has mm. with Real Madrid, are you really going to want to go somewhere and just try again? Yeah, it depends. I mean, I mean, I'm like Ronaldo. He's got, Ronaldo's got that ego or desire, whatever you want to call it, to do that. Mm. Yeah. But say someone like Arsenal, who I think he, he kind of recognises that someone like Mbappe is now the mm. speed demon. Mbappe is now going to become that Ballon d'Or or whatever, that best player in the world kind of yeah, thing. So he's going to look at that and think, well, you know, I think I'm not saying my time has passed, but you know, these things aren't going to happen for me. You know, um, and, and, and that may seem that may seem rather harsh. And maybe I'm a bit unfortunate to say that. Hmm. But it is one of those things, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, but uh, yeah, at the same time, if you have the opportunity, if the opportunity to, I'll realize what you want to say, if you have the opportunity to come back to the finish, whether it will be with that strike or I think it's only about to slide down, I'm really looking at it. Um, well, allegedly, allegedly, and, and, another, another allegedly, like, yeah. and the thing is, they've already got a problem, they've already got, let's say, Sanchez is 30 on, is 30, 29, is it 30 or 31? No. No, Sanchez. Oh, Sanchez, he... Pardon? He's 29. 29, but, but I'm saying he's getting closer to the, you know, to the wrong side of 30. And they've already got him on half a million pounds a week. So, at the end of the day, it's, it's a real struggle to think, well, who am I going to bring in? Mm. Who do I want to bring in? Mm. So, it's, you know. But anyway, enough of that. Enough, forget the, the old um, transfers. You mm. were at... Um, Obviously, you are at Street, and mm. you know, looking at the future, I mean, just look up, and obviously we looked at Troy Parrot, but uh, what, what did you think about Yafet Tanganga? I don't know how you pronounce his name. Yafet Tanganga, yeah, he went with the, uh, the first team squad, didn't he, to um, the ICC. And, he's um, Arsenal, he's got a bit of Arsenal, hasn't he? Yes, he's, yeah, he's, um, he's, well, he's also got a, a great defender as well, but I don't, well, I don't know if he's great, I don't even know if he's great, I don't say he's great, I mean, he's... Positionally, he's, 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 he's very wise. He never yeah. put his foot in. He never, I don't think he gave away a, a single foul, did he? Um, uh, but I, I only watched him the first half of the Avengers game. I didn't really get to see. Ah, you know, okay. yeah, he was very clean in the challenges, and um, and he's very, you know, and he, he, he wasn't actually. Uh, I wasn't with Adam Vera, but he wasn't to Marshall is, is, is the background as well. Look at what they said on the side and that. He was very, very technically aware, and, just, and that was only his um his. His first and second um, first team games for us. It was very very clever, and I, and I liked. I actually liked the look of him. And he can pass the ball as well. He didn't have to like. Mm. He, he actually was comfortable in passing. I mean, do forget that I mean, yeah. he's twenty, so he's probably been at the club at least since he was say fourteen. So he's had that chance to really develop into that mm. Pochettino style defender. Yeah, mm. Cameron Carter Vickers was, I think, he's a bit unlucky that he was a bit too old to really mm. experience what say Pochettino wanted from him. Yeah, yeah. to really take it on board. But uh, mm. we are producing a, you know, a crop of players that will, um, want a better word, they will have that ability to, um, you know, to, they're in the mould of what the manager wants. You know? Yeah. Because for the first time, I think for the last five years, mm. the last six, five years, something, we've had a, mm. you know, we've had a, what should I call it? We've had a, what's the word? Okay. Really, no, 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 they're not the thing. You know, it's like when the manager, the chairman, and the director of football, mm. they're all on the same page. They're all singing from a very similar hymn sheet. You mean the committee? Uh, yeah, I think, that, and I think they're working hard together. Sometimes you do things by committee, it doesn't always work. It slows things down. Yeah. But I think if the committee does work, which it does seem to be in this really? case, then I think we have... I don't know, potential, but yeah, I mean, you obviously had the SV game, I know the players didn't have any um, names on the bank, but are there any players that stood out for you that you remember, or? Yeah, SV and Dulwich games, um, you can see both the games on the, um, on the group, of course, uh, on our YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so actually, there were a couple, I mean, apart from, 
Well, I said the one, <laughs> one, the one that really sticks in my mind was um, Joshua Luayeri, the goalkeeper. Okay. That really sticks in my mind because uh, he played very well, he made some great plays, and then he had a, a couple of rickets as well. He liked to come for ball that um, really he had no right to come to, and more so than not, like, lost them. Um, and he also, um, I think it was in the game where the penalty against the good um, okay. which is um, a bit unfortunate. So he's come up to get all the high quality people, they're still young and learning. By the way, that yeah. penalty was uh, last of over, so we finished the game 1-1. Okay. Um, and then also, we um, had a, had a, we were, had a Charlo Trophy play up front, and he played quite well, holding the ball up quite well, and um, his passing was, was brilliant. Passion has to be Everyone remembers him from um, a couple of games last season. Oh yeah, he was and injured. He lost, he, he lost like, the whole of the season or something. He was injured for a whole year or something, uh, something like that. Most of it, yeah. Uh, no, I thought you think about Luke Hamer. Oh, Luke Hamer, no, but Tom, Sasha Alex Bisuto, he, he had a few injuries, I remember. He, he, he played injuries, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, he hasn't been away, he did very well, and, uh, so, I mean, a few players, uh, you know, played quite well, and they've been very comfortable as well, which is the main thing, like, they're, they're playing. Yeah, so were much older than they were and uh, much more accomplished than they were. And they didn't look out of place. And that's actually the, 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 the best compliment I could give to me. Uh, there was only one of you thought, oh, and then Armand Shishua, brilliant, skillful player. Just, just like his brother, I'd say. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a Sam Shishua, isn't there? Sammy Shishua or something? Yeah, and, he, and he's, the, uh, he's the older brother. Yeah, so... Uh, I think you will go alone at some point. I think yeah. I think that's one thing from you has been embracing is that he is embracing the idea of using loans to develop place. I mean I know Lou Tamos got a couple of um, goals in a friendly so it is again it's only a friendly. But yeah, you know, they were saying look, he's clearly too good for us. I don't know how you go from that on a friendly to decide that straight away. Oh crap, I hate I'm hitting up to the gym too. And it's pissing down and it's holding my gym wall. So it is what it is. So yeah. <laughs> no, that's so, yeah, so, it, yeah, so that's what you're saying. Well, no, that's a good to see. You look, looking so relaxed in the country on that field. And um, I would say props to uh, FC and Dallas for putting on a good show as well. It, it was really good to uh, get the, uh, the feel of, of, of the London agenda. And also to put up a good stadium as well with uh, you know, proper non big English star stadium and uh, good, good to visit them. And the fans are very complimentary. The empty fans, they actually thought that we had a, had a, had a very good team out there. And they tried to test them. The Dulles fans were, were a laugh as well. I was falling over a couple of times in that game. Uh, I thought it was going to be a ball at one point because we were going to be first of those. But uh, yeah, it's all good natured in the end. Well, that's what you want. You don't want it to get. Yeah, it is a friendly. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be a friendly. <laughs> and, uh. But I just suppose another game is supposed to be a friendly, but I think, uh, the people had squared up to each other at one point, didn't they? Well, I think, to be fairly fair, I mean, I, I think what I did see was it, was it, is it Sissoko was held on to by Daniel James, or Mark, whatever his name is. And, um, Sissoko did not. Hold on to <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Sissoko did not take too kindly to it. Not surprisingly. No. Uh, so, give credit to the lad though, he's only 19 or something. And so good a big, big guy. And he decided, you know what, I'm gonna you yeah, know, I'm not gonna back down from you. Which mm. you know, six credit to the lad. I mean, yeah, he's not, he's not I, I don't know how big the lad is, but so good is an actually is an actual unit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. So to be honest, have that have that very well. I think um, they went into the tackle, I think for so focus. I'd say accidentally, but uh I was watching it on they seem to get on purpose. Um, because he actually stood on um, a day that he, he took the ball off and they kind of ran out. But, uh, you may know, uh, on the, uh, the channel, probably because we're a bit worried about that. Um, I guess on the camera, but, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Ferreira, obviously, that one's got a good tackle on Kane at all. Oh, Ferreira, yeah. yeah. So, to be fair, that's just, um, how do I put it? One of those things where, it looks a lot worse in slow motion, it's like we isolate that incident. Yeah. So, yeah. luckily Kane wasn't injured and hopefully, yeah, yeah. everyone walks away. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, anyway, this has been a great chat, but obviously, there's obviously, you can tell why I'm there now. A bit of a noise in the background. So, yeah, I'll leave you, I'll love you and leave you. So, yeah, hopefully, we'll be doing 
So Chris is going to be at the end of the game next Sunday? Sunday, isn't it? Sunday? Next Sunday, yeah. Yes, yeah, so obviously, so we, um, I might, I'll see if I can, I'm down, it's unlikely, but um, mm -hmm. I, Chris is always at the, you know, he's at the coaching office, pre-game and maybe post-game, and so mm -hmm. Chris would obviously come out and say hi, we'd love to have you guys on, get a bit of your, you know, your insight and knowledge, and yeah, uh, Chris, is there any other, obviously you can reach Chris at, oh crap, man like Chris. At C R S A N D R O underscore. Hey, there you go. And you can reach me. You can reach. Um, if you send me a follow request at the real sugar one, um, <laughs> then you can reach out to me. Uh, but generally, you see me on a lot of such things, and I'm always I'm on Facebook, on Facebook page as well. So yeah. Anyway, please check us out on the Facebook page. Check out our videos. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else? No, I think it's all covered, and uh, I guess I'm just looking forward to the new season, and uh, if all the rumours, the rumours will come true, then we should have a, a good shot to uh, take from when that's not going to have some good comes up. I know, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a, such a contrast to last year, it's unbelievable. All right, sure. Yeah, all right, take care, man, and um, it's always come on your clothes. Come on your clothes, you'll take care.